Knife Joe. More Joe. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Christmas dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Man, oh man, do I got something special for y'all today. Christmas morning, that is. You see, I had been teasing you guys about this uh, this package that was sent to me from Yi Huang. Yi Huang is a uh, knife maker located here in the fantastic state of Georgia, my home state. And, um, you know, I had, I had found out about this gentleman sometime in March of this year. I think the beginning of March of 2023. And, um, you know... I had uh, initially what, what what got the guy on my radar was I saw he was doing mods, knife mods. In particular, it was this knife right here, uh, the Spidey Chef. I had purchased my first Spidey Chef, I think, in February. And then I ended up seeing his uh, his Instagram page. Uh, by the way, his Instagram handle is Hairless Twinkie. And so I reached out to him to see about possibly getting a mod done. And then after uh, subscribing to his page, I started to notice that he was actually making knives. So I have been working on this guy since March of this year. I had initially tried to get him to make an appearance on the Blade Cartel, uh, but he's a very, um, you know, very introverted individual. Um, he felt that he was not big enough to, you know, go on a platform. And I just totally disagree. I think what he's doing, at least according to everything online, picture wise, uh, is something that I wanted to showcase. So big thank you to him for sending this my way. I'm excited to check it out. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Okay, okay, today's unboxing knife is this one. One of the favorites in the collection, Devo Stout. Just got a new facelift, new lock bar insert, so she's ready to go. So I want to know what all you fuckers got for Christmas. Hopefully you got tons of knife dope. Um, so make sure to let me know in the comments what you got or what you're anticipating on getting. Now, let's see what this gentleman sent me. Now, I had asked him to send me some some specs with the knife because I didn't know anything about it and couldn't find anything online. Uh, so let's see what this uh, is all about. Also want to make sure to notate that this is a 100% American made. Well, I say 100, 99% American made. Um, all the, this entire knife is built with um, you know, materials sourced here in the USA. He does his own heat treat, does everything in house. The only exception is at the current moment, he is using uh, overseas pocket clips, but that is set to change. Uh, he is in the process of having Lynch uh, Northwest actually manufacture him some clips. Uh, so let's see what this is all about. I'm excited about this, people. The knife model he sent me, oh, shit is the Aries. So there here goes the card. We can see that the uh, it is in Magna Cut, and this particular version has got the brown micarta with brass pivot collar and forged backspacer. Look at that born on day, people. 1217, one day after my birthday. So there goes a QR code for you to scan. And here goes his, uh, his information. The name of his uh, knife uh, company is Stardust Forge. And there goes his email. I do believe currently his books are closed, but it's probably best for you just to reach out to him. Uh, be sure to let him know that you found out about him on Knife Dope. And here she is, the Aries. Absolutely beautiful micarta. Feels very high quality. I think he did tell me that this is, I, I thought it was, the, by the pictures, I thought perhaps it was vintage micarta. Uh, but he said it's modern micarta. So there you see that. Love these liners. You see these multicolor liners? We've got two forms of deployment. We've got this nice front flipper. As a matter of fact, that portion of the spine is actually crowned. Great jimping. He went with like a very, um, very fine jimping, but it's got some great texture to it. And we also got some thumb studs. Now let's talk about this backspacer. If you check him out on Instagram, you'll see that he rocks those curly Q uh, mustaches. And so therefore that's kind of like his... Um, you know, that's his brand, so to speak. 
So that's pretty cool. Love when somebody can kind of stand out from the rest. Uh, so the pocket clip is set to change. This one is not reversible. Right hand tip up. Uh, let's go with the front flipper. Woo! Detent is down the fucking. Look at that blade, people. Beautiful drop harpoon point blade there. Holy shit, that is fucking thin behind the edge. There goes his maker's mark. Yi Huang. Nice stone wash finish on the blade. Now this is a uh, liner lock, riding on washers. Plenty of room for our disengagement. Love the way he actually chamfered back that show side scale with a nice little ramp down there to give you some access. Oh man, that is fucking smooth, people. Thumb stud deployment is just as enjoyable. I'll tell you what, he knows how to make a fucking detent. That is for sure. There goes the brass pivot collars. Such a nice touch. You know, I would have loved to have... Um, Oh man, it's just cool. I'm I, I'm blown away. Now this is all handmade. I don't think I let you guys know that these are handmade. Um, so it's just amazing to see the quality, um, fit and finish, tolerances, no CNC, all handmade. Feels great in the hand. No issues as far as hot spots goes. Uh, none of that. I I I am I am blown away. I expected to be impressed. But I am very impressed. Uh, let's see. I don't have any specs for you, so I guess he's gonna make me do it. God damn it! We're gonna have to pull out the calipers because I tell you what, that shit is majorly thin behind the edge. I have to see what the fuck this is all about. Let's pull these out. I hate these fucking calipers. I don't know who the hell sent me these, but whoever you are, I appreciate it. But I just hate fucking calipers. All right, so let's see here. Behind the edge thickness. We're going to measure it in a couple spots. Let's go right here first. So we're looking at 11 thousandths behind the edge. Holy shit. Let's go closer to the tip. Also 11 thousandths. Let's check this blade stock thickness. Now the blade stock is very thin as well. Let's check this out. Blade stock thickness. Let's go back here. We've got 84 thousands back there and towards the tip where it gets really thin. We've got 20, 23 thousands. So very, very thin blade stock. We've got a nice uh, full flat grind on the blade. Feels rather lightweight. Before we get to some uh, comparisons, let's weigh this girl out real quick. Cause I'll tell you, she is light. Yeah, people, you know, this, um, there are so many individuals out here making knives that I don't even know about that I find out about daily. So much talent, you know? Uh, so anytime that I can showcase that talent, I'm always for that, especially when it's all American made like this. So the weight comes in 3.5 ounces. So perfect, right in tune where I like it to be. All right, let's get this scale out the way and let's get back to some business. Let's do some, uh, some size comparisons to give you guys a better idea on the size of this thing. Basically, a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Keeping that same American energy, we're going to start out like this. The Koenig Mini Aries. So there you see the Aries up against that Aries. Next up, this is one that actually gives me very similar vibes as far as the blade shape goes. Big shout out to the OG Sharif Manganis. We're looking at the Kubi Momentum. So there you see the Aries up against those. Let's do a couple more, shall we? Got to have some spider cone in your life. We're going to go with the pair of three. So I can see here that the pair of three is very, very similar as far as overall size goes. How about this one? Recent acquisition. We're going to go with the Civivi. What the fuck is that one called again? God damn, what the fuck is this one called? The Civivi uh, Chevalier version two. Don't get it fucked up. So there you see that Aries up against that. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. Another recent acquisition. We're gonna go with the After Hours Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. Last but certainly not least, another recent acquisition. We're going with the lightweight version of that Manix 2, GP Knives exclusive. So there you see it up against that. You know, people, I, I uh, there was a reason why I reached out to this individual. I was very impressed with what I saw online and even more so here in person. 
This guy is uh, destined to do big things. Oh, man. I'll tell you, you know, I used to not be into washer knives, but I have really grown to like them and appreciate them. You know, if all you're after is action, you know, like your drop shut action, yeah, that's not going to be the case with most washer knives. Uh, but it's it's more than that to me, just the, the actual smoothness of it, the capability of it. This is going to be a cutting machine. There goes the magna cut on the blade. You know, you got to support these uh, these small makers, man. They are the future. And he is here in my state. So I will do my best to support him. Reach out to him. Let him know what you think. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Tell me all about it. Love you mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!